changing lives. Good evening and welcome to the Law Chamber, where legal matters are discussed from a Christian perspective. My name is Anita Delight Dankwa, and you are welcome to today's program. Um, so, so far we've been discussing wills, you trying to make your will, not trying to make your will. I hope that last week's discussion made you realize that actually it's time to make that will. It's time to draft that will. If you've still not done it, all I can say is, yo, we hope that your family, as you always say, are a loving family. And so they'll share the properties without acrimony praise the lord we hope so all right so today we, we are going to touch a little bit on that but a little bit differently because you're going to look at it from the angle of um snit and investment and all that so let's say you are talking about um uh, the person who died one way or the other has contributed to tier one tier two tier three or other investment how do you get your money from them? What is the procedure? Who is the regulator? How does the regulator come in? We are going to have all this discussion this particular evening. So just stay back, relax, and let's have this discussion. I have three powerful people with me today to have that discussion. Three very powerful people. It's become powerful like Nekitoa. Very, very powerful. So I have with me Mrs. Rosina Akrofi. Mrs. Akrofi is with the National Pensions Regulatory Authority. So I brought you one to open an account. N P R A. Yes, she's the head. She's in charge of education and sensitization on pensions and retirement planning. She holds a degree in social work and a master's in adult education. So the dedication is going to be major. <laughs> and she also holds a degree in law. Should I say future? <laughs> <laughs> future counsel. <laughs> You're welcome. Council, yeah. I, I hope Thank all you. is well. All is well. Thank Thank you. You. Uh, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. You're welcome. Thank you. And then the only gentleman. The only gentleman in our midst. I almost say a a two. Hey there. About two two. About two two. About two two. I tremble my book. It is. We are hoping say Isaac. Isaac will be holding the two on our behalf. So mm -hmm. Isaac works with um, Volta River Authority. That's VRE. He's the head of Provident Fund and Pension Secretariat. He's a chartered analyst and a fellow of the Association of Chartered Institute of Financial and Investment Analysts. He's, he has over 17 years of experience. So what we are going to discuss here, he has a lot of information for us. And he's also a licensed trustee by the National Pensions Regulatory Authority. Ike, you're welcome. Thank you. Now, let me, we have program B, Indra. You have, you have to come down. Mm. What program was that? You wanted to pull me to Accra. <laughs> 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 so it was a pre-retirement pre -retirement seminar. Oh, yeah, okay. We do that for our staff um, every now and then. So oh, okay. I was facilitating. Mr. Facilitator, oh, yeah. I, hope that <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you, 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 you really educate us on the first because mm. surely... Uh, I'm looking at myself retiring and I don't want to retire. Mm -hmm. I'm for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I have with me Ms. Jemima Ofori. She is with SNET, the Social Security and National Insurance Trust. She's worked with them for over 10 years. So I just said, Jemima, I'll be bubua my SNET. 10 years. She's the Deputy Manager for Corporate Affairs for the Accra South area. And her responsibility includes increasing awareness about the SNET pension scheme um, among the relevant stakeholders, that is, the members and clients, pensioners, stakeholders, and we, the public. So her work is to really educate us. She holds a degree in 
a Bachelor of Arts and a Master's Degree in Communication Studies, both from the University of Cape Coast. Ah, the University of Choice. Yes. Now, I'm going to say, 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 I'm I attended <laughs> both primary and JSS. And oh, yeah. High Street SD School. High, st oh, okay. high Street, you couldn't convert it into an And then Hansen Road SD School. Hansen Road. It's a million money now. The producer and it's a white child who is here. White child who is here. Make sure you arrive from Nezri to JSS. Yes. Hey! Yeah. yeah. But guess what you are doing? It's a million money now. Which year? Which year? Which year? Which year? And my year group was 2000. 2000, okay. Yes. Ah, but those, those were strong groups. Very strong. And we are still strong. <laughs> 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 but they were not strong enough to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome. Well, Thank I you. I told you, you are an affiliate. Yes, So affiliate. you're a bit faster. Yes. A bit faster. Yes. So let, let me start with you, Jemima. Um, SNET, just give us a background information about SNET and what, what's your work, generally? The work of SNET. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, hello, good evening to your viewers and listeners, and thanks for the opportunity. So basically, when you mention SNET, what comes to mind? It's pension related. But our core job is, is that we are mandated under the National Pensions Act to manage the first tier of, out of the three-tier pension scheme. So ours is to manage the first tier, which is responsible for the payment of monthly pensions. That is the work of SNIT. We are Our existence is also there to cover for contingencies such as old age, permanent illness, or injury. So that SNIT comes in to replace a lot of that income for you. So generally, we ensure salaries of workers and then pay, pay benefits when due to the said contributors and their dependents. Okay. Yes. So you have one I was got confused. Yeah. I'll come back. Yeah. All right. So I know we'll break the, uh, we'll break it down. Sure. So um Ike, tell us about investment analyst uh, head. What, what, what do you do? What's the work? Oh, well. <laughs> For investment. Um okay, so with where I am, it's mm -hmm. not primarily about investment okay. per se, yeah, but that's a uh, I said, also dealing with staff needs in terms of um, benefits, management of their provident fund, and pension related. So basically, uh, we my unit is uh, the liaison between staff and these regulators, like Social Security, SNAID, SNAID, NPRA, anything that has to do with the staff's welfare. Yes, we uh, collaborate that. So if a staff has issues with SNAID, we are the first point of call. We will interface and then find out what the issue is and then resolve the issue. Same with uh, tier two, tier, so all the pension, three tier pension uh, schemes. And then we directly manage our tier three internally. So Internally? Mm, yes. Wow. Yeah. Since uh, Madam Rosina is here, <laughs> we'll be lobbying. This is what we want NPRA. NPRA. Yo, today we are in the law chamber. So <laughs> let me start by saying that the National Pensions Act, which is Act 766 of 2008, mm -hmm. establishes the National Pensions Regulatory Authority, in short, the NPRA. And the NPRA has the mandate of overseeing the management of the three tier pension scheme which is currently the pension scheme of Ghana. Mm. We have so many functions to do. So as my colleagues have already spoken, they all may report to us in a way. Aish. The tier, three <laughs> tier scheme, as uh, Jemima said, they manage the first year. So um, maybe Mr. Mr. Wa also takes care of the second tier as in his institution mm -hmm. and third tier of course 
in, in his institution. But the MPRA supersede to all this to make sure this scheme works effectively. So the MPRA is the regulator of all pensions in Ghana, if I should put it okay. in short. So being the regulator, meaning that if I have any issue with any of these institutions, exactly. I come to you. Exactly. Mm. That's so why I said that our functions require a lot. So our functions are that we see to it that the schemes are registered properly. Again, especially the second and third years. We see that SNATE also runs the first year effectively. We look at advising even governments in pension issues. We give, um, uh, what do you call it? We, we, we give them issue licenses to the schemes. Again, we see to it that they manage, we provide guidelines to them to manage wow. it probably and, and uh, no, all that a, a lot. Yes, so so a let me lot. say, for example, I, my tier two, tier three, I'll bring it to it later, so I don't want to add them right now. Yes, okay. I'm <laughs> they're to be too big for me. So yeah. my tier two, tier three, I get the money, I look at it and I go like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. So I come to NPRA and NPRA exactly. will help me. Exactly. Resolve it's one it. of our functions okay. that okay. We, we listen okay. to, I mean, um, you know, pensioners, grievances and address them. That's okay, so that's one of our functions. So okay. we do all that and then educating the public on the three tier pension scheme. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it seems I, I, I jumped the gun. A so whole let, lot. let me try and come back. <laughs> come so back. let's say who 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 is entitled to contribute? Who's entitled to contribute generally? Any one or any person over fifteen years is entitled 15, to that's contribute. Under age. <laughs> you are saying that adult let, is 18 years, you're ready me, to take care of yeah, Yes, of course, 15 years, because either to this um, free education, we know that a lot of people mm -hmm. complete the um, JSS and they have nobody to take care of them. So you didn't see them coming to Accra or, you know, living with people as house helps and all that. And as a house help, you're supposed to even pay that person's contributions. Huh? When you, yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. So yeah. if by 15 years the person is working you need to pay the person's contributions. So that is why we peg it at 15 years. Because if you remember, the, the, the Children's Act talks about child work and then child labor. So when we talk of child worker, somebody who is a child worker, it's around 15 years. The person is, is working to help the parent or anything of the sort. So you can't say that that person is in child labor. There are other issues that as a lawyer, you know that we could term those ones as child labor. Mm -hmm. But when a, a child is working at 15 years and supporting the family of that sort of thing, I mean, you don't say, that. yes, you don't say that I child know, is no. in labor. No, yeah. it's yeah, a child worker. So it should, that person should be uh, um, deducted and paid on, on, on one's behalf. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> hey, but what about foreigners, non-Ghanians? Uh, Non-Ghanians, non as um, that as age, employees. Wow. No, as employees, are, are they also entitled to contribute to SNET and De the tier Definitely. Two and the tier yes. SNET will tell you that people who are working should be, I mean, for after six months of work, it's no more, um, a con uh, yes, it's, 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 you have to and deduct that person and pay. So if that is their condition, then you should apply to those and the, foreigners uh, yes, as well. foreigners yeah. as well. But do the foreigners, can they have an option and say, okay, we don't want to do Ghana's kind of, we want to do our country's own, especially if they are an expatriate company. Mm. The law mandates you, you want to take it, right? The law mm. mandates one as a foreigner, you know, coming to Ghana and work yeah. here to contribute until when you are emigrating mm. permanently, mm. that money is calculated and paid onto you. But the fact that you are working and you are exceeding a number of months here, it could be that you are working from your home country mm. and your home country pays your contributions. That one, uh, SNITS will not take anything. But if you are working over two years and above, you have to contribute. So any time you emigrate permanently, that money is paid back onto you. Yes. It's the law. Okay, so you remember we have tier one, tier two, tier three. Mm. Which one are the mandatory ones? I think one and two. Yeah, so yeah. 
um, under the National Pensions Act, as she mentioned, is tier one and tier two, mandatory. Tier three is voluntary. Oh, okay. Yes. So you will want to um, put some sa saving sort of in your tier three. She would throw more light because she is the <laughs> regulator <laughs> here. But the law says that for tier one and tier two, it's mandatory. What what it what this means is that it's tier one and tier two um, amounts to a total of eighteen point five percent. So that's the explanation. Thirteen point five, thirteen percent from the employer, and then five point five from the employee's basic salary. The word basic. underlined basic salary. Yes. So you have to ensure that these deductions are being taken correctly percentage wise quoted correctly from so employer brings 13 5.5 is taken so it is an employee employee relationship both of you, you are in partnership after this 18.5 13.5 is remitted to SNET. 13.5 yes okay. and the five percent is given to tier two or you decide a tier two of your choice what this is means is that if you are an employee of an establishment or organization, it's your responsibility to know who your second tier fund managers are from your employer, maybe from your, from your HR, from whoever is responsible. Yes. Hey, we are supposed to know mm. as employees. Yes, yeah. you, you need to know. Yeah. The same way SNET gives you quarterly statements, allows you to print your statements, go online and view how far you have contributed. It is the role of your employer to also let you know your second tier fund managers okay so and this 13.5 i mentioned 2.5 is also remitted to national health insurance authority for your health care yes so ultimately let your health care nhi, NHI. the one doesn't have some important drugs, drugs. and features exactly it works <laughs> <laughs> two point two point five is huge yes so you, if you are a SNED contributor, SNED pensioner, you are exempted from NHI premiums. That's if you're up to date. Because I wasn't up to date and it didn't do it for me. You need to be up to date. <laughs> so SNED manages ultimately 11% of oh, every employee. Oh, 18.5. Yes. Manages oh, okay. It. Oh, okay. Which is why we say... In I cast this, this, this. So it's not just SNED. Mm -hmm. It's yes. net and tier yes. two. Yes. And the tier two, most of us, we don't know who our tier two managers are. Isaac, why in Oaxaca can I see her? Okay. Yeah. confused. So, yes, so I think um, in Jimama's submission, she made mention. So the appointment of the tier two fund manager is the responsibility of the employer in collaboration with the workers mm. or the employees. Mm. So they have to select or appoint whoever they want to manage their funds for us, uh, for them. So, so that is it. It is not the responsibility of either SNIT or even the regulator, our regulator, MPRE. Wow. It is the employer in collaboration with the staff or that is the employees. Oh, collaboration, yes. what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Also consensus well, building, sure. consensus building. So, so it's not like an imposition. An yeah, because it's my money you are going to invest for me. I need to have a say in where you are taking the money to. Yeah. And so that is done to the representatives of the employee. Yeah called the BOT Board of Trustees, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then a decision is taken in terms of the appointment of who to manage the Tier 2 funds. Same applies to the Tier 3 funds. So the Tier 3 is not mandatory. So why will an employer want to do it and how does it come about? Okay. It is not mandatory, but it's an avenue for you to actually enhance your retirement package, mm. right? And in most institutions, so I often also come across that most institutions, they have what we call the Provident Funds. So the company deducts a certain amount from your basic salary and then tops it up for you. And so if it's optional, but I mean, why would you want to opt out mm. when at least you know that once maybe 5% is deducted from my salary, my company is going to top up with either 5% or 1% or 2%. Once you opt out, you are losing the contribution from the employer. So it's not the best decision to take, right? And having uh, that kind of a... a <laughs> so why will you want to opt out when you know there is an opportunity or an avenue for you to enhance your retirement benefits? But from what some friends say, they go like when you don't really have money, you can fall on tier three. How does that work? Mm. When well, you don't really okay, so 
Yeah, okay. Let's say. Oh, okay. okay, you All finish. Right. finish. All right, so <laughs> that is, it depends. If it is not registered, right, so because it is not mandatory, it is not one of the mandatory schemes, it is voluntary. And so employees, employers have the option of either managing it internally by themselves or deciding to register. Now, once you register under the uh, 7666, then what it means is that you don't have that laxity of going to withdraw your funds. You have at least government or, yes, government have to use your money for at least 10 years. <laughs> pension, it's, it's a pension fund, so the money has to be managed at least 10 years. Beyond 10 years, then you have the option of withdrawing, doing okay. a partial withdrawing where it wouldn't attract tax. Right. But if you are doing it internally, maybe because they are doing it internally, then they say, okay, okay, we have the option of going for that money. Of course, then that will also be subjected to the rules and articles of association that is uh, governing that particular, that, that particular thing that every two years we may make a payout or every five years we may make okay. a payout. Okay. So I'm sure maybe that is okay. uh, the basis for saying that. Okay. Right, let me throw a little bit light on the three-tier scheme as uh, Mr. Wu have already done. But... Um, the three tiers came. That's the first tier, second, and third tiers. Okay, if someone says they'll fall on their three, three, there are several options that will make one. Uh, I mean, I mean, touch on the, such an issue. So the first tier, as already mentioned, is the basic social security scheme, which is um, SNAT is the management of that, and it gives one a monthly pension when one is on retirement. Then the second tier, it's the, the also mandatory um, scheme, which is contributed by yourself. Sometimes we say it is, it is wholly contributed by you. Mm. Why? Because you have your 5% mm. going there. And you, as an employee, you contribute 5.5%. Yes. So say it's a work-based scheme, it's, it's a wholly funded scheme by yourself, Definitely. okay? And it's that, under that scheme, the monies are invested on your behalf. So garbage in, garbage out, whatever you put in is being uh, invested on your behalf. So at the end of the day, you get that money as, as, as a lump sum to take home. So the first two schemes are mandatory, and well explained, and, and untouchable. <laughs> the second tier scheme can be touched under one single condition. Okay. That condition is um, when you are 50 years and you are unemployed. For example, okay. those who were laid off or unemployed as a yeah. result of the banking, clean up and all that, those people if you are 50 years and above, you can just file at the um, um, labor department that you are unemployed, and this money can be given to you, oh, so you can nice. also uh, I so mean, right. invest into okay. something. Okay, so under the second year, that's uh, one only option. Other than that, you have to take it at a lump sum when you are on retirement. Mm -hmm. Under the third year, okay. which is Christian, the voluntary provident fund and the other part is the voluntary um, personal and group pension schemes the provident fund is what mr was spoke about and that one uh, it looks as if uh, it's voluntary but really it is good for you to enhance your pensions okay so if you are contributing something i think one time i went to the mining areas and there was one particular that was in the earlier days, there was one particular um, um, mining um, institution that pays close to 20% of the individual's basic salary for them and the, so you will have to contribute like 10% of your basic salary and then the employer pays 20 percent so i was like wow this is great <laughs> and then, and then lawyers. They, you know <laughs> so they were i think so they might need one i'll tell them and they were like oh yes they do that to retain staff okay so mm. if you have this uh, provident fund and it's giving you that much you I, I don't think you'll be indifferent in saying that i don't want to contribute because it's going to enhance your pensions greatly and like he said when you leave it until 10 years, you can take it without any tax, anything 
other sort until unless you want to take it before 10 years that one the tax components in it will be um, deductible then the other part which i mentioned as the um the personal or group pension schemes are basically for those in the informal sector okay so those of you selling uh, you know you have convenience shop you sell bananas you sell drinks in, on the street you sell water i mean you are table so kind you are a carpenter artisan you know any work that you do drivers and all that you can also contribute to also get a decent pension when you are retired so under this we encourage people to get involved you heard um jimama said Nia o nyankopon yesha ni se onipa bia be di ye e wa asasi so eno ti adwuma bia wo ye no wo hia ho ni ndie eni nkyerekyere papa mba ni fo se sanwa be ba kontomre enkwen ani a na ejine mu nam so eno ti taking from you you also have what we call the 35% tax incentive on your contribution so sometimes when those of us in the informal sector you know do not understand the scheme it really pains me and that's my baby I really want to talk about, <laughs> yes, I really want to talk about. You are very, very, very passionate, I, I about, it. very passionate yes. about it. Yes, you see, so and under this scheme, you also have two accounts. Any contributions you make, it's distributed into two accounts, the savings account and then the retirement account. For the okay. retirement account, you don't touch it. But for the savings account, contributing into it after some years, you can go in there to take money from it to enhance your business to see to your child's education to see to any other thing you want to do in life you can use it so this is even better and this is where i come in to say that those of us in the formal sector have an option to also take this scheme you can even take about three four of them and nobody because it's voluntary when your money is deducted your your um, your basic salary is deducted and into the first and second years and you have a third year scheme that is also done. You can even sign up with this um, third year scheme, a personal scheme, and then be contributing by your own self. Okay? There's one thing that we always say that contributing 13 point, uh, sorry, 18.5 percent, you still have about 16.5 percent. Yeah. Where is this thing coming from? Governments or the law allows you to use 35 percent of your basic salary into pensions so when you are able to use this 18.5 don't stop there don't limit yourself to 18.5 percent use the rest to invest into other ones which of course is the third year and so some will be saying actually that you see Accra no hmm. you're making crying <laughs> you're taking out a pension where yes. I might not even reach it there you see that it and right now we are we are hungry we are trying to basically survive you my mom it's, it's, it's not easy, but then you, we can't throw the baby and the water away. Yeah, we true. have to do something. Mm. We have to squeeze as the situation has become. We still have to make a leeway so that tomorrow our pensions will see us through. Rather than, you know, we see people coming from outside, you know, coming to have holidays and all that, pensioners. We see them around mm. at our beaches and the rest. But do we get that? No. So this three-tier pension scheme came so that our pensions will be better. Be better. And, so. and it depends on you, the individual. So you have um, to make it better. All right. So Isaac, then yes. I'll come to Jemima. Then, okay, um, then I'll go for a short so Just, just okay. a short, a short add-on yes. from what uh, Rosina ended. Yes. You know, the three-tier pension scheme allows every worker that if you decide to participate in all the three tiers, mm. that you have, she mentioned it, yeah. a whooping 35% tax exemption, right? So if I'm on a salary of, let's say, 1,000 cities, what it means is that before tax will be applied, payee will be applied to my salary, I have 350 cities deducted, which I won't pay any tax on. Tax Does that will apply to those at the cap 30 and all that? No, because they are not contributing to the, they are not under the three-tier scheme. Oh. Right. Okay. So tax will only be applied to 650 of my yeah. money because I am participating in all the three tiers. 
th that is the kind of benefit you get. So, well, like she idea. said, no, but we are only no interested idea. in the first two tiers, mm -hmm. which gives you 18.5. So the 16.5 she's talking about, it's how much lean way you still have oh, if you really decide yes. to play in that arena as mm -hmm. well. I'm being educated. Yes, yes. I'm being educated. So, so remember, let, let me ask you this question before I go for a short break. So, when can I enjoy retirement? When can I go in retirement, generally? Generally, um, it is expected that you uh, you do a minimum of 15 years of work. That's equivalent to 180 months. And you should be 60 years to get your full pension. That's what the law says. Full pension. Yes. Pension. But the law also provides an avenue where you will still have to do a minimum of 180 a requirements, of course, a minimum. But you would be between 55 to 59 years. It allows you to also go on pension, but at a reduced cost. Meaning just not better so? Yes. It's like you've gone into a contract with me. Time value of money. Yes. Uh, and, and, and then I, we I agree on something. something. <laughs> we agree on something, and then you, you know, you don't that's stick that's to it. the bargaining. Yes, so yes. that's what it means. Okay, so <laughs> let, let me just try to summarize this. Um, what the fifteen years and above are, what do we contribute to? Um, cost net. What do we contribute to? Tier two, and it's an investment. We are not tier three. So that's what we pension. I'm going to be big a cry. I show you. Then you end up being now offer from buy how more me pay scam be. See, I then you show on collapse on me show you. See, we are just on show on who see ya. Now it be bring now so no. Mumba aye juma aye we be fee say be ah. O kusum o be ne sanyaman. Sanyaman ne ni ano so ni etu asne to ahu. Nzu udo ba aba kra betina kra. Oba no e e sum o be. But on tu o pen a just kano. But all my employer, if I know all shen no so in chibi, just on the chibi. Now, oko oko pension now sixty years. We do sixty years. Yeah, we to make a pension. Oko pension do see Kenya be mau. But all year fifty, fifty five to fifty nine. Yeah, oko pension now. You better take a crafty so 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 we do sixty no. Ah, you better take a crafty so. Now, now yes, yes, I can say. One say, you do baby, I enjoy that. See, see, I need a bread, a womb, yeah, bread. But can you imagine the next 20 years, 30 years, our co pension? When you crack or a worse, how soon as can you even know? You see, Niaka so far and I say, Sissi and I just saw ya boa boa, not to me boa horn. Between Ankas and Koye, so. Let's go for the short commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Nia o Yankopon we shan se oni pa bia be di ye e wa asasi so eno ti adwuma bia wo ye no wo hia ho ni ndie ene nkyerekyere papa mba ni fo se sanwa be ba kontomre enkwen ani a na ejine mu nam so eno ti na hope channel e di dwuma bia ye frane se business forum abrewo ya wada nyumre no ngotwe bia me kyere 8 pm she am me na na kwa me sika me ni mpanimfo a wa ben no wa dosukọ e wo sika se mu adwadie mu any a human will be sinking, near Mount Chirachia Papa, a bed wow, now so at me a tomb pong. Piao. For one night only, the city will converge at the National Theatre as United in Praise presents the A Capella Festival. Ooh. Praise for a divine musical experience on Saturday, December 31, as Ghana's hottest a cappella groups usher us into 2023 in a grand style. On stage performing, Black Capella, The Manifest, Vocal Path, Note 6, K3M, New Era, Soul Street, and many more. Special appearances by Pesdak Praise Choir, Gifted Dia, Mark Enimirenchi, and Perez Music. Get an early bird ticket now at a cool 70 Ghana City standard for single, 150 Ghana City VIP, and L300 Ghana cities for a family of five. Simply dial star 928 star 529 hash to get your tickets now. The A Capella Festival is proudly endorsed by Beyond the Return and supported by Chatterhouse, Evans Dome, 
Medima Fuheba Clinic, Meridian Ghana Conference, and powered by United in Praise. Pelafest, a Hope Channel Ghana production. So, um, at least we have a general understanding about uh, pensions. So now let's zoom in on beneficiaries. So the person made a will or the person didn't make a will. We are going to look at the both ways. And so let me ask Jemima. So let's say my father dies. He was a contributor to SNET. How do I know that he's a contributor to SNET? How do I get the money due me, if indeed I'm a beneficiary? Okay, this is quite loaded. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, let, let me uh, make this clear that SNIT is not only there for pensions, which is why um, anyone who joins SNIT for the first time, the question that you'll be asked that um, in the event of your death, who benefits from your contributions with us? We know that death is inevitable, so it's likely you will even have to go on pension and death or okay. So, which is why we say that you give us name, a name or a list of names, relationship to the, the how they, they relate to you, and then the percentages as well. It's even in the law, the National Pensions Act, it says that at least once every five years, once at least, you should update your nominee records with SNIT once every five years but unfortunately you should. it's a mandatory yes yeah. it's in the law you should update you show them, you yes it's <laughs> mandatory yes. it's in the law you should <laughs> update your nominee records yes but unfortunately we don't hmm. so once we advise you to update these records what this means is that we are going to rely solely on this inf information or beneficiary information if you like it put let's put it that way so that when you are dead and gone, we go in there to pick that list. And so it's like a will you, in a general sense that you have done. And we want to, we want to follow on it, do, conduct our investigations to ascertain the genuineness of these beneficiaries to be sure we are not paying monies to ghosts ghost or <laughs> wrong people or impersonators. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. The process is that Senate cannot pay any monies to any other persons nominated in your will, as it were, unless the following. Mm -hmm. Unless you left behind a child who is below 18 years, the law terms them as a minors. So whether or not you included a minor child, the law says that 60% of your SNIT entitlement should go to that child. Please, let's, let's go back there again. Mm. <laughs> let's go back there again. So what you are saying is that even if that child of mine is not a beneficiary. I didn't add his no. name or her name to it. No. So far as that child is below the age of 18, that child will get 60% of the contribution. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. So let, let's say I've, I've, I've elected my mother, my husband, and I didn't elect my child who is 14 years. You're going to give 60% to my child. And the forty will be shared amongst my mother and my husband. You, you are a lawyer indeed. Yeah. You no, it's not. This is, this is, this is, what if I really is. indeed didn't want to give my child? Maybe I had made provisions for that child. It's, the law no, says, you know, minors you. are more or less, you know, yeah. vulnerable. vulnerable. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I you you, you, br you brought them into the world of you, your own decision. So the, it has to provide, the law provides for them. So there's a minor um, act. Um, the Children's Act, Act 560, mm -hmm. that states that whether or not, so this is also based on investigations. You don't just come and say, I'm the child. The, I'm the child. I'm or, oh, I have, it. and that's <laughs> no. We have to do investigations, conduct thorough one, of course, the child's parentage to be sure if the, it's actually the father or the mother of the deceased person, mm -hmm. as you mm -hmm. claim. So we have to look, go to the, pe the child's school check through their baptismal sets, birth certificates, yes, to be sure. We, mind you, if you, pay, if you pay wrongly, the SNIT officer is in trouble. Yes, we have to pay. 
So unless in this contingency, that is when your original nomination may have to vary. So the, the minor will be brought in. If there are 10 minors, then the 10 of them will share 60%. Yes. Right. One. One. Well, one 60, sixty. Three. Sixty. Whether or not the children were born out of your legal marriage or mm -hmm. out of wedlock. 60. And that's why you should like get scared. So it means that <laughs> if, it's, if, it's the if it's the child within wedlock, mm -hmm. that child is fat. Yes. If a bear man for ball, away. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I'm also a child. One night stand is fat. <laughs> or side chick. So, so, so <laughs> what, 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 law, <laughs> what, what our law says, says, yes, what our law says is that there's mm -hmm. nothing like illegit child. Yes. yes. I yeah. mean, it comes uh, to play it's here. Yeah. Exactly. So, so anyone who comes out and said that this child is for the man, mm -hmm. who is not known anywhere, so that person, that, that child should be counted, should be part of it. And, and, and let me say this, because, because of the um, constant public engagements we do, mm -hmm. such as these, people are getting to know. Yeah. So a lot of people Shall think we? that as long as I produce this child mm -hmm. as a, a daughter or son of my yeah, former... Yeah, yeah. And then they think, and then definitely yes, they yes. get some money. No, no. and we have, we have we have had to prosecute some people because they yeah. they produce yeah. one woman False. was all, yeah. almost prosecuted about mm. three months ago. Mm. She brought um, a thirteen-year-old girl to us as the late husband's daughter. Through our investigations, it came out that this girl had lived with them since age four, mm. so she was more or less like a house help. That, but he could have informally adopted you know, and it was not that adopted was not so oh, okay. that so. was not there okay. so she just came to produce a child because <laughs> they had no issue so that she, she, she was going and what's what's uh, what's the child my uh, children's acts um this place is that because that child cannot um Engage in any financial transaction, the caretaker will be the trustee, is, a trustee yes. to wow. claim on behalf. Wow. Yes. <laughs> but, we, but we do conduct, <laughs> we, have, we have investigators in yeah. SNIT yes. who are well trained yeah. and groomed. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and you will be surprised how we are going to find out. Even in the case of this, yes. So let's so say, death. for example, I know I'm a beneficiary, I walk to SNIT. What documents do you need? Okay. So you would have to provide. Um, either a death certificate, okay. if the person died at the hospital, a medical certificate of course of death, if the person died in active service, a letter from employer, and mm -hmm. um, you would want to produce maybe an affidavit sworn by a family head or a religious leader, some funeral invitations, obituary, something to prove evidence. The person is yes. dead. So that is even the, the start of the whole, the whole process. Once you bring it, we have to vet because people are now doing a lot of evidences, right? In Mokola and Kingsway, we need money. <laughs> <laughs> so when we vet it, and it is, it comes out that it's true and authentic evidence of death. Mm -hmm. That's when we, it requires that whoever leads the family, we usually call them death reporters. Yeah. So you walk into the office to tell us, and then we take. We we'll go through the process. And let me say this to everyone here. Sometimes when they lead the family and they come and you are being asked, oh, what's the last residential address, or address of this, your relative? Where did they work? Do you know their last? And some of them get angry. Why are you asking me all of these questions? <laughs> we need to ask you because you are saying that it's your relative. It's your relative. <laughs> and the person is dead. And you are fronting the process. So we expect you to give us everything. You know why? So that when we are conducting investigations, something else comes other oh. than what you say. We know where That's to go. Issue. So okay. give us the truth. Oh. Don't be withholding or concealing mm -hmm. information from us. This is the, where the, we go back and forth and the mm. process. Oh, and I Six went and snake. And we will find other information other than what you provided. Mm. And as long as SNAIT is bent on um, paying benefits accurately and promptly, We'll do the right thing. Okay. So it means I, I, we go through all the procedure. I do all the signing and you pay my part to me. You pay this person's part. Yes. And if there's a child under 18, the child gets 60%. 60%. Hey. Okay. So now we've done all the, we've done all the payments and everything. So now let me ask you this question someone asked. The person was like, we are three siblings. Okay. We are three siblings. Mm -hmm. And 
we are the beneficiaries. You know, we are the beneficiaries. You've paid us. And then we are saying, say, Charleston, we don't trust that the monies you've paid to the three of us. That is indeed the money <laughs> my father left behind. So please, we want to see the statement of his contributions and the interest and everything up to date. Can SNIT, should SNIT be able to say no? No and yes. Okay, explain. No when um, you decide you want to know the um, amounts as in the equivalent of the percentages that were, were allotted person A and B. Each person. Okay. Each person, okay. That one is not allowed. It's confidential. But if you are all beneficiaries and you come together because you settled your issues at home, and you understood each other, and you put it in writing with signatures and thumbprints and everything, SNIT is in a position to give you the statement of your deceased mother or father and even take you through the computation process mm -hmm. okay. as to how your 30% of your, uh, your ben benefits was realized. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. that's not... So oh. it means... I but isn't that. that straightforward? Can I really walk to SNIT? And, uh, because it's as if SNIT, everything is in secrecy. It, you know? not, nothing is shrouded in secrecy. <laughs> People would have to do complaints. There's, there's a, a department of ours has complaints and adjudication department. You know, she yeah. mentioned earlier yeah. that if you are not even um, very comfortable with your pensions that came to we you, call you, for you call for a recomputation yeah. where you yeah. write. Mm -hmm. And some people have had to you know, they went through and it came out that, no, there was this pro process that it didn't go well, so we need to recompute. And it's been given. Others, unfortunately, go and they, we, Snit even realizes that we, we overpaid them after they came. <laughs> and yes. after we chopped their money. Yes. <laughs> we are supposed to pay back. That one. It's a lie. That one. No, after we chopped their money. So. <laughs> I think. <laughs> after we chopped their money. But, yes. but it, 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 no, it, it's, you, it, you, it represents you, you, you your monthly me. pension, so it's so definitely. It may be back to it. To be upset. Yes. Probably I should be able to see so because I don't know your error. I didn't, I didn't ask you to make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no free money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's, it's deducted by yeah. installments. installments. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah. if you're supposed to take like um, 5,000 every month and you are giving 4,005, Maybe gradually is different that uh, <laughs> related uh, well, one. I draw a new account. See, it's interesting. Mm. Alphonse Kwabna Bluvi. I they follow you, Mrs. Dad. Uh, the verse maker, very revealing. Thanks. I just couldn't do it once this question answered. Can you please explain the 35% exempt tax again? Mm. Okay. Will you take that? All right. So they um, at seven. Okay. So the three tier pension scheme okay. allows workers to have a total of 35% tax exemption. And this is it. So what it says is that if you want to participate in all the three tier levels, then the tier one and tier two, which comes to the 18.5, you the worker doing 13%, uh, employer doing 13%, and then you the worker doing 5.5%, now make it 18.5. If you deduct that from the 35 percent you are left with 16.5 so if you want to play in the tier three mm. then you can contribute as much as 16.5 percent of your basic salary and when you add that 16.5 to the 18.5 18 it comes to a total of 35 percent so the law is saying that and all that money is exempt from it's tax. exempt from yes. tax so i gave a, an example that assuming i'm on a salary of thousand cities exactly. basic and I'm playing in all the three levels. Before my payroll, account or finance department applies the payee tax, pay as you earn, okay. to my 1,000 Ghana, they are going to deduct 350 cities from, it? from my 1,000 cities. Mm -hmm. That is tax-free. Instead Bef of the 18.5 mandatory. Good, good. So if you are doing so only... Why people do the yeah, If you are doing only the first and second tier, then it means it's only 18.5 that you are going to benefit uh, from. That's uh, 100 and what? 85 cities yeah. so yeah from my thousand ghana so why yeah. especially the you know the, the governments won't do it so i'm talking about the <laughs> the, the private sector why they don't take advantage of it actually what? there are a lot of even tax benefits mm. yeah. sometimes, the sometimes personal income 
Okay. I even said that. There are lots of it's, facts. It's the education. Yeah. Yeah. More, <laughs> yeah. more, most people do not uh, are not aware of this this fact. You see, sometimes it is said, but then people at the finance section may do the calculation mm. perfectly. But because you're not using it for anything, mm -hmm. then it goes back into, into, into chest in a way. Hey. Okay, yes, of course. Well, a lot of people don't know about it. And sometimes <laughs> they know. even, look, look, if you probably, your company like the one I spoke about, you are contributing 10%. So that 10% is also not taxed. Okay, 10% added to 18.5 um, um, becomes 28. Mm -hmm. You still have... 6.5 percent mm -hmm. and this 6.5 percent can even be put under the personal pension scheme mm -hmm. which i said it's for the informal sector mm -hmm. you can contribute there and that doesn't affect your so your, I have your a lot um, of questions coming in and our okay. time is up <laughs> so someone is asking mm -hmm. so seven 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 adria is saying that so if you are under hey bro for so if you are under, let's say for if you are under cap thirty, mm -hmm. let's say you are not mandated to pay SNET and tier one, tier two, tier three, can you do thirty five yeah. as well? Maybe mm -hmm. to another mm -hmm. mid to tier three. Exactly. Like that. Exactly. You know why? Because if you are an informal sector person and you want to contribute to pensions, that is the thirty. Okay and you, you file your tax returns and everything, you are mandated to have that 35% also slashed for you so then as, as pension. So that if you have 10,000 that you are saying that this is my uh, um, whatever, you know, this is w on what you can take my uh, PAYE, 35% -E, is set aside. That is what will not be tasked. And then the 65 percent left will be tasked so this person so is a government are, worker no this person is a is already a form a of oh you're talking about cap 30 yes. oh i'm sorry yeah. I, I thought you were talking about the informal sector informal sector, yeah. informal sector yes. because but that's tier three yeah. it's a tier three so, the cap so please steven cap 30 so cap 30 yeah. is not part of, of the three-tier pension scheme it's also a form of pension so frederick j Sampson. Good education. Can they take the 35 non-taxable pension contribution option? It sounds attractive. I think we've discussed that. Yes. <laughs> As a, people know. And the informal sector yeah. also benefits. Yeah. Yes. So that's yes. what I was yes. trying to explain. So Ama Adumako, what if you stop working in Ghana? What happens to your SNET contribution? Let's say you paid for seven years. Okay. So Ama, if you did, we you still have seven years with us, with SNET. As long as you are 55 years and above, you can come back to Ghana and claim what we call old age lump sum. Yeah. It's bulk together plus an interest and giving to you. Yeah. Okay, so you don't do that small, small every month? No, no because, because, because you did less than the minimum. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it will be okay. paid to you mm -hmm. at 75% of the prevailing TV rate. rate. Oh, not, not bad. Yes. Yeah. So no, this, this... Hey, <laughs> it's not bad. You, you <laughs> must... I don't want to bring around. Oh, no. You can take for yourself. This is why the education is so important. So yes. Daina Joapoku is watching <laughs> us. <laughs> Feva Mausi Kelly Semabia. Sorry if I've spoiled your name. I think. <laughs> she, I work in public service and contribute to SNET for about 16 years. Then later leave to do my personal business at age 50. Mm. Will I be eligible to take a pension when I take when I attain the age of 60? That's all you've just said. Yes. Say so you, you can. But 16 years no. We, we do number no. Minimum is 15. Minimum is 15, 16. So she'll get every month. That's what's yes. 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 and then the lump sum. Yes. Yeah, favor. Where did you <laughs> where did and, you? And I think one thing they should know if you uh, in um, formal sector employment, and mm -hmm. it happens that you curtail somewhere along the line. I mean, when you start doing your own um, yeah, you private continue. business, you can continue, continue contributing into the SNET scheme. 
can also contribute into the second tier. I mean, uh, Kitwa Bienswa, the little, the, 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 whatever you have to do is go to SNET and tell them that I'm no more with this so so and so organization. Mm, so no therefore, way. I'm on my own. So Sounds I'll be country. coming to contribute yeah. on my own, probably cash so or favor, anything. That, that's that's a good one. Yeah. Just, my time is up. Let me just <laughs> oh, I have so, a lot of. Uh, so just to here. add, with the, mm -hmm. when when the person has left for my employment and the person is on his or her own, mm -hmm. yeah. it is important to start also continue to contribute because mm -hmm. you see. We have already discussed that mm. SNATE's pension is a defined benefit scheme. Yeah. Mm. And your reward is actually in the number of months you contribute. Yes. Yeah. So if you contribute more months, you get more reward. Hey. Yeah. So like yeah. the Abena who says seven mm. years, you could have could continued to contribute. Then, yes, then, Even then, if you are yeah. outside, outside the, the country, country, you can still, you contribute. Can still contribute. And what I would like to say is mm. this. Once you're outside the country, you are not a worker mm. in Ghana. Mm. So, so there is no um, economic activity going on mm. you cannot be sending the money, money to someone to someone, someone. no why because not? you are not working it's earned income you have to earn the I'm income i'm earning it somewhere else no why are you in is it are you no, working I'm in, in ghana, ghana. Not no in ghana. <laughs> i'm not in ghana, <laughs> not in ghana. <laughs> not in ghana. <laughs> all so right so <laughs> so someone is asking about what if the beneficiary so there's a will yeah okay and the beneficiary and the person did put it in there that I want to give my SNET pension tier one, tier two, tier three to Kofi Mensa. Yeah. But the one at SNET and the one with tier two, tier three is Ama Kobla. What happened? Sure, you can do it. All right. So um, that law, that, that um, will mm -hmm. wouldn't work. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Whatever the person has with SNET is what is going to work. Or with the tier two is what is going to work. That is why we call it. When um, Jemima was doing her submission, she mentioned that the beneficiary nomination form is as, quote-unquote, good as a will. A general. Yes. Yeah. And this one is specific. The person has indicated specific. So specific over general. Yes, yeah. over general. Yeah, the way we are. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a common law. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So the snitch one will, will, will work. work will so it means there's it's no only need when, to yeah. even put it in the will because mm -hmm. if you want to change it, you can always walk to snitch office and, and change yeah. it anytime, any day, any time. Yeah, mm -hmm. ah. there, 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 there is um, a pensioner um, in a town called Wenchi some years back. Whenever she walked into our office, we knew she was going to update her nominee record. <laughs> Interestingly, <laughs> yes. So, um, updates of nominee or beneficiary information is not for only SNES contributors, SNES pensioners as well. Okay. Because you can go on yeah. retirement at age 60 and die at 69. Mm. So, there will be you some. Yes. Yeah. So, if your children are worried and you don't want to give it to so this old lady, yeah. as soon as she sees Many that, that she, she, she gets into the office. Oh, well, 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 so yes, I I I, 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 I almost I almost came to that because I wanted to complete the uh, where I stopped saying that we could not SNES could not change any beneficiary information unless there was a minor, unless you nominate someone and the person predeceases you. Yeah. So I am the contributor. I nominated my sister. And my sister predeceases me. So your sister has died, died before, died before me. Yeah. The PNDC law one 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 comes to play because SNES cannot pay money to a dead to person. A dead person. Okay. That is where we and have not to. not even that dead person's descendant. Uh, no. You don't do so that. So what we'll do is that, that the portion of my deceased sister mm -hmm. will be redistributed using the PNDC law. Mm -hmm. But the original nomination with the others will still hold. Okay. And Snake also does not pay money to girlfriends and concubines. <laughs> yes. So you are nominating, teachers. stop putting the girlfriend. girlfriend. Now yeah. if I write the name Amajua concubine. So you, so you, you can you. even say Amajua spouse, but yeah. if we do investigations and, the and it comes spouse, out spouse. that it's a girlfriend. <laughs> We, yeah. we don't pay money to it's in the yeah. law. We don't pay money to girlfriends. Really? Yes. Even the, even the but I can give it to anyone I want. Mm. No. Yeah, but there you are rules governing. You know, you know in Ghana here we have matrilinear and patrilinear system. And when you go into the law So if it's my it's, ex wife. No, and I was going to come to God. We don't pay money to yeah, ex spouses. My time is up. Benefits <laughs> to ex spouses as well. So PNDC law will come in to read. Uh, what does that what does that mean? PNDC law will come in as in redistribute mm. that part. That part. That just that part, that portion. So it's, it's established that the, the marriage doesn't hold ex spouse and my you producers want to, will kill me today. 
Because, yes. That's so, a whole, you've opened a whole area. Yes, yes. yes. We, we, we do not pay SNIT's benefits to such persons. To so ex is it, is it a case where the person has indicated, this is my ex-wife? Or no, the as person I, at the time of payment, the time you realize that it's, 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 it's an ex-spouse, ex yes. Because, you know, you know, investigations are conducted. And oh. honestly, genuinely, people do forget. Yes, yes. But they do forget. Oh, maybe I really want to leave that money no, to that people, person. people do forget. What if I do they want to leave that money to my ex? And they are like... I'll go and update tomorrow, next week, next month. Now you are thinking for the diseased person. We when know, we, person we know what we are saying because some of these things happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it happened in the offices. So Okay, my last one. <laughs> Producer Mumbo Mende, the Mumbo Mepreko. Also, my uncle has retired, but according to him, part of his tier two funds were not transferred from TPFA, I don't understand, mm -hmm. account, which was managed by NPRA. He was directed to gen trust to go for his money it's been four months but nothing has been heard he calls and no response can npra do something about it please yes um what you saying the tpfa is a temporary pension fund account which was created um when the new law came okay so that fund was there so that you pay your tier two into it. So SNAIT always remit the tier two into when you pay to them, they take the portion of tier two and put into it. Yes, what he's saying is right. He got that uh, money. And those monies for those who um, qualify to get that uh, TPFA fund, their monies were given to one particular trustee who is Gen Trust to manage. So when you come to us and you fall in that bracket, you are asked to see um, Gen Trust to pay the money. But I don't know what his problem is. That is why he cannot take the money until now. It's, it's taking too long a time. Can Four we get a number months. that he could call? Yes, so he could call um, 0302 I repeat, 0302 nine six eight six nine two and that's our number or you can walk into our offices our head and office and ask for auntie rosie okay <laughs> and ask for auntie, <laughs> ask for auntie rosie now. we have to look into it four months it's yeah. it's so long yeah. too much i have too many okay. questions here i'm not going yeah. to ask so, so so you can also walk into our offices Ask for me, and then I will, I will lead that. Um, <laughs> and the reason that they will kill me you. now, they are talking. They are talking so much about yes. If I don't say they will kill me, I think we'll do part two of this one. God exactly. willingness to So let, let's uh, just, you know, we'll do part two. Two. In mm. Tibetan Kasabi Bay, just summarize mm. in a in a minute, in a no, in a second. In a in a in a. Your final words. Final words. We um, we are sharing our pensioners that we'll continue to pay them every third Thursday of the month. Every third Thursday of the month. Okay. Every third Thursday of the month. And your funds are safe since part two will come. Amen. <laughs> Isaac. It's important that uh, we plan for our retirement. We should not make the mistake of leaving, uh, making our children our retirement plans. Amen. <laughs> and so for those of us in the informal sector, I say my year can mon so mobe timi enyebi. And to be a fan home and gym. Ni aye can retirement retirement ti na che se enye wo mo eye busumi adwuma nko a ti e 3 no e wo homa mo a mo ye mo akasa mo adwuma enti mo fa mo ho engine na mo so da chi mo anko fi anko di mo dok no kwa na me shira mo Thank you so much Daniela is greeting the team and she says she's enjoying the program with the family I can't go into your questions today let, 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 let's do next to Daniela okay please forgive me and thank you so much for being with us you know that we have so please stay safe and next week we'll have another area where we'll be discussing all these as well until next week please stay safe